Hello children, uh, last time we had uh, seen the chromatographic method. Today we are going to do an experiment of that. That I am going to brief and I am going to show you the experiment. We will see the experiment, what it is. The experiment is to separate the colored components present in the mixture of red blue inks by ascending paper chromatography and find their RF value. Apparatus used a gas jar, glass rod, filter paper strip that is Wattman filter paper one that is number one has to be used, a jar cover and a fine capillary tube. The requirement a mixture of red and blue ink, alcohol and distilled water. And the procedure Take a filter paper strip and draw it or you can say you have to take a filter paper strip of 2 into 20 centimeter. Fine. Then draw a line above here if you can see this is a 20 centimeter filter paper strip. And you have to draw a line 3 cm from the end, above the end, 3 cm here from the end. And draw a line lengthwise from the center, as well as you have to draw one line from the center here. Okay. Then put a drop of mixture at point P. So what you have to do, where you have to, where these two lines join, where this your this 3 cm line and this center line joins, you have to put a drop of the mixture. That is the mixture of your ink, red and blue, both ends. Now, you have to put a drop of mixture at point P and after that, you have to suspend the filter paper into the jar. See children? This paper strip, you have to mark here 3 cm here from the center here. Also, and when they both meet, then you have to mark the point P. Fine. So, like three centimeter here and from here also, both the ends you have to mark with the scale and a pencil. Both like this, and three centimeter measure it, and at the center, so that point will be your point P, where you have to put the drop of the mixture. Fine. Then, with the help of capillary, like I have this uh, twig, this one I have one, uh, so that I can put the drop here. So, with the help of some capillary like thing, or thin, I had to put this drop of the mixture here. And then you have to dry it. Dry it. Then again put the uh, drop of mixture and dry it. This you have to repeat two to three times. And let the spot dry. Let the spot of the mixture dry. Fine. Once it's dried, then you have to make this. Then suspend the filter paper in a gas jar containing eluent. You know eluent is the solvent. What will be the solvent? That is 50% alcohol and distilled water. So here a gas jar or a glass jar like this. Here you have to mix 50% of water and 50% of alcohol. Children this is spirit. This is alcohol. So you have to mix both of them 50-50%. So I will add this here. This here I had added it. I added the spirit. I hope you know what is spirit. Then once the is or dried up, you have to suspend it. Now how are you going to suspend it? In such a way that the drop is above the solvent. It should not get inside. Fine. 
and gradually you will find that the here you can find that the mixture is rising. See children, it is rising. Alcohol and amita. So it is rising. See. So you can see uh, this. So we'll keep it aside for some times and later on we'll see what is happening here. I can show you here that it is rising. The solvent is rising. Now we'll keep it aside. So this is the blue and black uh, red ink I had taken. Now after after the solvent has risen about, about 15 centimeter, you will notice different spots. When the spot rises to 15 centimeter, so you have a calculative idea that from till where it is 15 centimeter. Or you can mark it with the pencil also 15 centimeter because the strip is of 20 centimeter. So once the solvent has risen till 15 centimeter, you will find different spots. Now what you have to do? You have to take out the filter paper and mark the filter paper where, till where till where the solvent has risen first from the uh, point of uh, drop where we had put the drop of mixture till the solvent has risen you have to first mark it then you have to dry the filter paper after that because after sometimes what will happen you will find the only spots so the solvent is dried up so before the, the drying we have to mark the solvent that till where it has risen now you have to put pencil marks in the center of blue and red spots. After that, measure the distance of the two spots from the original line and the distance of the solvent from the original line. Like you can see here in the diagram, this is our setup. This is the filter paper which I have shown. This is the point P where we have to put the mixture, line joining here the center and you have to dip in the salt that we had done. Then when you get that the solvent is risen till 15 centimeter, you have to take it out and you have to mark the solvent. So see from the spot till the solvent has risen, you have to measure this distance first one thing. Keep it aside. Then from this spot till the spot A and from this spot till the spot B or ink A and ink B or first spot or second spot these both distances you have to calculate right and then you have to put in the formula of rf value and you're going to find the uh, we are going to calculate the rf value so how we are going to calculate the rf value rf is the distance traveled by blue ink over the red ink from the point of application that is the point of application from where you had uh, put the point from there how much the red ink or the blue ink has traveled separately we are we're going to use separately either blue or black then upon distance traveled by the solvent from the original line that is the distance traveled by the solvent from the original line now this way you have to make the observation table observation table substance so we had used red and blue ink distance traveled by the components a centimeter for red ink, B centimeter for blue ink, distance traveled by the solvent, X centimeter, X centimeter and RF value that is A by X and A by X. That is A that is the solvent till, uh, till this you get the red ink spot or red ink till where you get then divided by the total solvent that has run and this way you are going to put the uh, make the observation table. Children, observation table and calculations you have to do on the blank page. While writing part, you have to do on the rule page. Now, uh, you have to write this experiment in your copy. See, you have a book. If you don't have, please tell me. Then I'll uh, this uh, send on WhatsApp. So, here the number is 56 page number experiment 6.1. So, you have to write this experiment in your book. I'll uh, send the experiment also. Make the observation table but don't fill it. Just 
leave it and calculation part also distance travel by a upon distance travel by b leave that column fine children so this way we are going to calculate the chromatography or we are going to separate the um, colored components and find the rf value you can uh, separate ions also like cobalt and nickel if you get the mixture of cobalt and nickel ion you can separate them you can separate the grass pigments also this way okay children bye